play we'll play games that are like 10 to 30 minutes on this uh, this uh, series welcome everyone to another edition of the drunken pawn half pints I'm Steven there's basil Teresa behind the camera as always you may notice that one person's missing at this time it's Maurice it's not this guy he's usually <laughs> the one missing <laughs> Uh, but Maurice, uh, he he's taken he took a little time off, so he's mess. Yeah, <laughs> not really, but <laughs> <laughs> so you now you have a chance to make up all the points that you missed yeah. while you were gone. Yeah. <laughs> well, this you is another cooperative getting, one. Yeah, you guys were getting too uh, too close. So I had to come back. <laughs> yeah, this is another another co cooperative one. Me and Maurice did one uh, called Obelisk. If you can check that out, I'll put a little link on that. Um, but. Yeah, what we got today. Basil, you're the one that brought it. Tell us so, what we got. We have Last Defense, like he mentioned, and is a cooperative game. And one of the cool aspects of it is no matter what, you have 20 minutes. So um, if if you know you have like 20, 25 minutes to play a game, this is this is a good one to grab. So we will... We yeah. will... We'll get to that in a second. Yes. We gotta We got to get to our first segment, which everybody loves. We can't. It's, we wouldn't be the drunken pond without it. Which is what's, what's in, in the, the side. side. What do we got today? Pew. Basil brought the beer today. So I brought another uh, nowhere in particular. Yeah. Um, I believe this is the third time that it's we've debated whether this is the third or second. I time. will put money on the fact that this is the third time <laughs> that we've had this. Well, it's a local. It's a local yeah. brewery. Um, this is piping the stem. It's a spicy fruity sour, and it has it's a sour ale brewed with mango, lime, and ha habanero. Oh, habanero so, peppers. Yeah. Spicy. Spicy. So let's give this give I, this boy a I, shot. I'm usually I can't even usually do jalapeno peppers, much less <laughs> habanero peppers. But I did all right with the with the hot the spicy beer last time. So I think it yeah, no, good. no, yeah. I, I mean, I think the, the one the one I use. think was the clown shoes episode. I uh -huh. forget which episode that was, but that was uh, I think that was ghost pepper. Oh. Wasn't that? But I, it, it wasn't that hot. Okay. That I remember. You got you got your fill. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I really like that. You really like it? I really like that. I get the rest of the thing? Yeah, go okay. for it. We got like three we got like three more over there. Huh. Oh here it is. There's that. Put that there. Show it again. Because the other time my camera the tripod was like, nope. More in particular. That is interesting. Mm hmm Spicy, fruity, Okay. Sour. It's got it's got a little spice at the end, but nothing too crazy. Yeah, it definitely it hits you right here. In the back of the throat, <laughs> but it's very sweet up front. Mm -hmm. Very mangoey. I can definitely yep. get that mango. Like a juice. Like a juice. Yeah, I would yep. say it's very juicy. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Let me get a little more. Like, not an overly sweet juice either. It's like a. Like a fresh juice. Like a fresh juice. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. This is this is good. And I'm not usually a huge fan of spicy beers, but. The way it, it like kind of just kind of sits on the back and it doesn't like it's not mm -hmm. enveloping your whole mouth. Your mouth isn't all like on Bur fire. Bernie Sanders. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's maybe not it's like... the the lime in it. Oh, maybe kinda helps it cut could through be. that. Absolutely. Like that pepper hot pepper store in Gatlinburg, the oh, Pepper yeah. Palace. Oh yeah, oh, Lord. <laughs> good times at the Pepper Palace. <laughs> good times at the Pepper Palace. You guys were crying, laying <laughs> rolling around on the floor. <laughs> I, I didn't do it. I didn't because I was like, I can't. I know I'm not gonna be able to do this. So I didn't do that. Yeah, Teresa was the only one that like stood there like. <sighs> Everybody else was like, <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> drinking, it was hilarious. Drinking cartons of milk. Basil like, was the just worst. Just pouring their face. No, Basil's. Remember when? Worst. Remember when the, the, the guy <laughs> gave <laughs> Nate that uh, horse, uh, horse rash? Horse rash. <laughs> he was like, He's hey, like, hey, this will help. <laughs> He's like, first of all, put it in your mouth, swallow it, and then breathe in real deep through your nose. And he did it. Was like, why? Did you <laughs> <laughs> the dude was just cracking up. Everybody. Was. Good times yeah. in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Yep. Always a fun time. If you ever Three, made it down there, visit the Pepper Palace. 3.5 million Scoville units of fun. Yeah. Woo. 
Well, that whole that whole mall is cool. It's like Mountain Mountainside oh, yeah. Mall or yeah, something like that. Cool little tobacconist in there. Yeah, Gatlin Burlier. Yeah, yeah. Gatlin Burlier. Shout out to Gatlin Burlier. Oh, yeah, well, hopefully those guys. they're still there. I'm gonna put that in Post the description. Pandemic. Below. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully they're still there. Maybe we should call them. See how they're doing. <laughs> that one weird guy that always has the pipe and the yeah. chops. He's basically like a every, pirate. Yeah. Every time I go in there, he's in the middle of telling. An awesome story, <laughs> like an epic, like yeah. And then there was a, he truly like, is like a sea pirate, a pirate, yeah. and I killed him or what? Something yeah. not that, not that crazy, but I just picture like uh, any like he he reminds me of a um, like an old tugboat captain yeah. or something. Yeah, it's so cute. Yes. Yeah, like one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, like before there was like like right as there was engines, but it was like steam yep. engines. Exactly. Yeah. They had like a big paddle thing on the back. And you yep. can always try tobacco before you buy it there too, which mm -hmm. is really awesome. Yeah, yep. he, yeah, he uh, lets you bring in your pipe and Sample fill it up. It, yeah. yeah, you can fill your they pipe got some and smoke. Nice looking. looking pipes in there too. Yeah. He's a yeah, he's a cool guy. But anyways, so I got on a tangent there. We digress. Um, so that was what's in the sign. Very good. Check that one out if mm -hmm. you're in the Dayton, Ohio area. Kettering. Kettering, Dayton, same thing. Um, uh oh, second segment. Oh yeah, second segment. Yeah. Basically, I believe we have breaking news. Once upon a time. It's once upon a time. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We are a team of unlikely heroes who must save your our city from threats like <laughs> spider robots, giant tentacles, sentient plants, space aliens, and a junk blob. Take, turn, take turns as quickly as you can. Race against the clock to find and rescue the scientists who can solve the crisis before the city is destroyed. Last defense. <laughs> I think that's the. Yeah. I think that's the story. That is the story. That's yep. it. So there we go. So we go. Uh, I think it's time to get to this thing. So you ready? So it's maybe, time. Maybe grab our signs. Grab some signs because yeah. it's game time. <laughs> All right, let's get this game. So this game has a very unique aspect to it, which mean which is you have to use a app that you download on your smartphone. See that? I'm just mm -hmm. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Cool. Um, you you kind of—it's kind of required. So if you're not, if you don't have technology and you still live under a rock or a cave somewhere, <laughs> you probably won't be able to play this game. I don't know if there's an alternate, like, way to play without that. I don't know. You could request a cassette tape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or a, or a VHS tape. <laughs> Probably not. I a was CD that or a laser yep. disc. <laughs> I, I think if you want it to be randomized, like it is when you play, yeah. um, then. It, you probably do need the app. I'm sure they have like some recordings on YouTube or something. Oh, there you oh, go. Yeah, but, but still, again, but then you're going to just be playing the same same one over and over. Yeah. And you already know kind of well. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. But that's what's really cool. Cool about it. Ran randomizes it with the app, mm -hmm. um, and it basically walks you through how to play. So uh, we've already played once. He and Basil's played twice with his lady fair. Feel say. Feel say. Show up some some, of this yeah, board. show it off. You hardly ever do close-ups anymore. Well, I don't want to cut up the game, and also like it's I don't not care. focusing. It doesn't matter. Okay, <laughs> there we go. It was like I don't want to focus. So check out some of this artwork on here. Yeah, the artwork's pretty neat. Artwork pretty is pretty decent. cool. Oh, this was made by Funko Games, I believe, right? Oh, this triple pretty check. sure it is. Does it say? Probably on the back of the bar. I thought it said on the app when I was looking, but that could be. Yep, yep. Funko, Funko games. games. So cool, cool. Baze is getting texts. Oh god. <laughs> well, he's got to keep his notifications on. So. Yep. So one of the things about this game that we learned the hard way <laughs> is you have to keep your phone off of silent mode. Yeah, uh, or it won't, you won't be able to hear. Yeah. It. Without um, headphones. Yeah, uh, we we ended up having to play with like Bluetooth headphones the first time because we didn't know that. So, well, there you um, go. Yeah, now you know. Learn learn from our mistakes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Well, let's get this thing going, Basil. How do we play again? So, uh, essentially, what we'll do is we'll select a new game on the app. Uh, you want to make sure you read all the rules first, and it tells you to do that uh, when you first get started. Yeah, you can show here. Too. Yeah. 
The alien in the sky. Yep. The alien in the sky. The so uh, it just asks, have you read all the four pages of instructions? Have you completed the setup? And is everybody ready to begin? No, I'm not ready. <laughs> how, about, how about now? Yeah. Okay. So, and then we can uh, choose either beginner or experience mode uh, to play. We're going to so do beginner because gonna... we've only played like twice. That sounds great to me. to bring you this important news. We have reports around the city of damage caused by unknown monsters. We have people trapped at these locations. The factory. Now put the thing on the factory. The neighborhood. The little stacks of stuff. The offices. Mm. The garden. And the school. First responders are overwhelmed and are calling on local citizens to help in this crisis. <laughs> you are our last defense. Good luck. A dog and a nurse. Yep. Last defense. <laughs> <laughs> Just a man and his dog. Mm -hmm. bark, so bark. What, did, what were you guys doing when you set those things on the areas? So uh, essentially what we're doing is uh, the bottom piece here is hopefully a scientist. Um, and what we're trying to do is save the scientists from the rubble that's on top. Um, and you'll see how that, that plays out here. Because you need to collect the scientists in order to defeat the monsters and win. Cool. Yeah. And right, so, cool. yeah, it'll say that on their cards up here once they <clears throat> come out. Yep. Okay. So now what's next, guys? So we mark that we have placed the five stacks at the announced locations. And at this point, we start our 20-minute timer in order to try to beat the I game. I go first? You go first because you are the next I'm person boy. to have a birthday. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. All right. Oh. And ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Oh. So we must defeat four threats in order to win, and it'll tell us which ones there as we go. There are unknown threats attacking the city. We will keep you informed as we identify these threats and where they are located. In the meantime, please, rescue the trapped scientists. We will need their help. Tell us about the uh, the dice, too. Okay, the green dice is how many tools you pick up, and the pink dice is how many uh, spaces you can move. Okay. So, And you don't have to move the full spaces you nope. can stop. So you don't even I'm have to move any spaces if you want. There you go. Cool. I'm yeah. actually going to move to the neighborhood. Sounds good. How do you uncover the rubble again? Uh, as soon as you move there, you uncover it, you and uncover it shows it? you what you need. Uh, well, just leave it on there. Oh, oh, yep. that's right. Flip it over. So, in order to remove this rubble from the scientists, we need a hard hat and some binoculars. Yeah, and I only have one. So, do you show your tools? I guess we so, could because we're working yep. together. Yes, so. you want to make sure you show tools. So I can move three. I will start. I'll go this way. All right, your turn. Two, two. Got another fire hydrant. Or cool. Extinguisher and a blow horn. And I got two, so I'm gonna go here, uncover this, see yep. what we got here. Good move. Uh, okay. Cool. Don't have. You can only have five of these, right? Correct. If you five get tools. more than five tools at the end of your turn, you have to discard down to five. Alright, so I can't do anything there. I can move two. I'll move there and just see what I get in the next time. One. Another. Jeez, I have so many <laughs> extinguishers. Can't go that way. I'm gonna go over here and see what this one is. Sounds good. Cool. Definitely not. I have so many fire extinguishers. So I can do two tools and I can move two. Alright. This does not help. <laughs> All right, so I will come here. Okay. Oh. Um, oh, you can do that. So we can meet up, and we can trade items. Oh, one item. Great. So. All right. So. Are you yeah. gonna do that? I, I already moved to get there. Yeah. So it's your. So you can't. You can't, you can't do the. No. It, it, oh, I got a hint. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. I got you. Okay. Yep. Do we have to be on the same space in order to do that. When do I draw down? Uh, at the end of your turn. So I can give you a flare if yes, you want to meet up. And you can give me the fire extinguisher. Perfect. Um, now you got to get rid of one. Good call. All right. Go so 
my turn. So I can get two tools. Uh oh. Breaking news. The giant tentacles have been seen in the water near the gardens. Repeat. Ah. Giant tentacles are in the water at the garden. So now that the giant tentacles are active, we need to find a biologist and an engineer and get them back to the plaza in order to defeat the giant tentacles. Hmm. So now that I have the two items, the rope and the fire extinguisher, I can go ahead and discard those, get rid of this rubble, and see what the scientist underneath is. It's an engineer. We needed one of those? And Yep. And he goes on my person. Woo. So now I just have to carry him back to the plaza, which I can do. And two. And he's there. Yeah. And perfect. All right, Great. your turn. So I'm going to go back to here so I can so uncover that. Fire. Oh my god, another fire extinguisher? <laughs> oh my lord. Uh, I can't make it. Any of them? I can't make it anyway. I'll just go here. You can start going there. We have a new report that space aliens appear to be landing at the Megastore. Repeat, space, space aliens, aliens are landing Megastore. at the Megastore. Oh, and when you put in a new thing, you put the... Um, new rubble? Yep. Even if there's rubble already Even there. if there's already rubble there. Alright. Yep. Um, so, my turn. So, three tools. Give me something good. Awesome. Okay, so, and I can move two. So what I'm going to do is come here. I'm going to spin to flare, because that lets me move here without being affected by the monster. I'm going to flip the rubble, see what this one is. Nice. You can do it. I can do one. You can do one. Um, let's go ahead and do this one. Get rid of that. Flip the scientist. And I get a helicopter. Alright. The helicopter means that at any point you can fly um, to yeah. anywhere on the map. Right. That's cool. Alright. So it's your turn. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm good. Breaking news. Sentient plants have overtaken the shopping mall. Repeat. Sentient plants have overtaken the shopping mall. How many blow horns I have now? Megaphone? That's what I said. I thought you said blow horns. I did. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna go... You can do that one. I can do that one. I'm just making sure because I didn't want to use my flare right away, but yeah. if I have to, I have to. That's what I'm doing. So one, two. Get rid of that. And what Ooh. do we got? Well, we got the biologist. Perfect. Awesome. So now you just have to, on your next turn, get them back here. Cool. So I'll go first, or go now, um, so I can get two tools and I can move two. So I got these. All right. Way to go, guys. So um, you have that. a rope. Um, well, we do need a megaphone and that, so. Oh, and I have one too many, so let me get rid of that. Um, so it's your turn. I thought I just went. I no, you didn't. You I didn't. went yeah, and dropped this off. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that. Nice. And so I can get you there. can. Yep, you can do that, guy. Thanks, Thanks. 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 We have a new report that space aliens appear to be landing at Another. the neighborhood. <laughs> Repeat: space aliens are landing okay. at the neighborhood. So. I'm going to spend my helicopter and fly here. And so I get three tools. One, two, three. I will spend um, my megaphone and this to open this guy up. I got the chemist. Oh, that's what we needed. That's what we needed. And so since I flew here, I'll use my flare so I can go through the monster and bring him back here. Oh my moves. dang! So, so did we just win? Uh, yes. Threat defeated. Congratulations! We just won the game! We made it look like child's play! Yep. <laughs> that was beginner mode though. Yeah, it was beginner mode. <laughs> That's loud. It's pretty loud. <laughs> you win! Yay! Rainbows! Congratulations! It's Pride Month. It is Pride Rainbows. Month. Look at that. It's, it was all part of the plan. <laughs>
<laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we just won last defense. How do yeah. you feel, Basil? I feel good. Without Maurice. We yeah. Don't, we don't need Maurice. <laughs> Come on. That guy. <laughs> <laughs> And we have habaneros in our bellies. Yeah. Still good. eat them. Yeah. And we messed up and still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's okay. Well, well uh, that's going to do it for Last Defense, but yeah. this is a half pint, so the review is next. Mm -hmm. you wanna... Since you won. Well, you won as well. <laughs> All right, I'll start the review. <clears throat> so this game is very cool in the fact that it has the app... Um, aspect of it because it's just new you know like nothing else that i've played has that mm -hmm. that whole aspect and that's really cool uh the artwork's great um the little pieces are fun i love the fact that you can be a dog like as yes. one of the characters there's several characters i think this is what's the the play the player count on this uh two to six two to six players so this could be a big fun mm -hmm. game with all kinds of stuff going on the 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 bad guys are um um, copyright safe <laughs> very cool yep. though they're still cool um, it's quick pace I mean you know how much time you're going to be dealing with uh, as soon as you start the game you know it's going to be 20 minutes it could be less mm -hmm. if you win quick like we kind of did I yeah. mean we only had what we had 6 minutes left I think so somewhere around there yeah I think it's already gone but yeah, yeah we, we had like 6 minutes left so yeah um, pretty fun um I don't even know. I can't think of. I'm gonna hand it off to you. I'm gonna think of some cons. Okay. Um, so uh, I agree with pretty much everything that he said. I'm. I really like the fact that you can be a dog in this <laughs> game. Uh, I don't know if I've ever played a game where you have a bunch of human characters and then the option to be a dog. So I do appreciate that. Um, I also like. Uh, we. We didn't really touch on it though, but uh, the characters, um, you know, on each of the characters, it shows like what their special place is. So even in in my instance, I'm the nurse, so I can go through the hospital without having to worry about these guys if they're on here without having to spend a flare. Oh. So that's a really cool little aspect that we we uh, uh, fortunately or yeah, yeah fortunately up. or unfortunately didn't come up. Um, I like how simple it is. Like, we, the first time we played, the main problem we ran into was just figuring out that the phone had to not be on silent <laughs> to yeah. get the app. So, yeah, that was. Um, yeah, uh, I like the art. I like, you know, the idea of it. Like, you're just some random person that's getting pulled in to try to defeat these monsters mm -hmm. because everybody else is tied up. Um, and you're just using random tools to, you know, fight them off and save these scientists that you know will help you defeat the specific types of monsters and uh just overall yeah i, I really enjoy it yeah i i'm sitting here trying to think of something bad to say about it um or not even really bad but something that somebody could be like oh that's you mm -hmm. know it doesn't that doesn't work or it doesn't flow right um we didn't have the, the opportunity to to be killed either which mm -hmm. i think is a thing well yeah. not killed but injured because you have to go yeah. to this rest area yep when you get injured but that never never come, came up um when you that, that happens when you fight the monsters right correct if you don't yeah fight. like sometimes you know if if i'm on the offices and the monster like the app says the you know the space aliens are seen at the offices at that point if i would carry was carrying anybody i would have to drop them there and i would go to this rest area so um we didn't we didn't run into that this time i think we ran into that when we played last time yeah but. yeah but yeah not this time yeah flowed pretty quick this time um mm -hmm. man i don't i really can't think of a, a con to this so i'm gonna have to give it a five pawn mm. very nice um, it's super fun it's easy to play quick it's it there okay i've just thought of it it's not really a con, and I'm not going to change my score, but it is a little... It is very simplistic. Mm -hmm. So there's not a lot of strategy to it. It's all just running and grabbing. Yeah. And hoping you have the right cards. So there's a lot of randomness to it, but the randomness is is so... There's so much of it that it kind of, like, 
almost cancels itself out <laughs> at yeah. a certain point. It keeps you moving for sure. Yeah. Like it's simple, but with the timer on there, like you know you only have so much time. Yeah. I think that kind of counteracts the simplicity of it. Yeah. Just, you know, makes you keep moving. Yeah, I think it makes you not think of so much about like there's no strategy this yeah. game. You're just running and grabbing. Yeah. Um and so that's which is good. I mean, it yeah. distracts you from the fact that you're not you're using your brain but only to the fa the to the point of do I have the cards that I need? Mm -hmm. And that's it. You know, like, yeah. um, so if that's a con, I mean, yeah. I, I, I'm not going to change my score over it, but yeah, there you go. Um, I am also having some trouble thinking of like any significant con to give this game. Like I, like I said, you know, just know that the, the app, you have to have your phone off of silent. <laughs> um, <laughs> unless you want to just do everything through your headphones, which was kind of fun when we did that. I felt like I was a reporter, you know, I was doing her job on the app, just kind of telling Steve what was, you know, what was happening. What are you, what are you hearing? What are you hearing? Yeah. <laughs> oh God, there's, there's aliens. <laughs> uh, I also like the fact that this potentially, uh, has a lot, or it has a lot of potential for expansions. Um, cause you could bring in new, you know, scientists with new monsters and stuff. So I think I think that's really Ooh, cool that it, they can they could add on to it. Yeah, they could easily. maybe even bring in some IPs like um, like giant monster IPs like Godzilla. Yeah. Like Funko has yeah. the Godzilla license. I don't know if they still do because they made the Godzilla game, which we did on the channel. I'll throw mm -hmm. that up in the link there. I'll throw the link up for that. But uh, I mean they could bring in Godzilla, they could mm -hmm. bring in all kinds of different monsters, you know, yeah. like these are all like classic ones, but yeah. there's there's a lot of potential. There could definitely be like a Jurassic Park style like dinosaur situation too. Yeah, yeah where absolutely. it's like a, a big dinosaur park. You yeah, know, quote sure. dinosaur yeah. park. Yeah. They could yeah they could Funko definitely has do a lot of things. IPs. Yeah. yeah, so like monster. I mean like Universal monsters. You know mm -hmm. like vampires, yeah. werewolves, stuff like that. Yeah. So and and that would definitely keep the replayability up because even though mm -hmm. the app randomizes things. It could, if you played it to death, you know, get stagnant based off the fact that there are just the five monsters. Yeah. But if you threw in some expansions and just knew, like, okay, I have to make sure I have these two tokens in there when I, mm -hmm. you know, mix all these up. I mean, really, that would be really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Um, so all that to say, um, I, I think I'll give it five stars as well. Pons. Um, it's Beep. pawns. <laughs> five, he made five pawns. Five made pawns. Yeah. Um, yeah, I I can't think of a reason to n not a sufficient enough reason to give it a lesser. Yeah, score, all so. the the things that I can think of are very small. Like mm -hmm. I can see maybe it being a problem if you don't have an iPhone. You know, because yeah. you have to have the app. Yeah. For the most part, like, there's other things you could do mm -hmm. to try or to any play smartphone. It, but I mean, smartphone, honestly, yeah. that. I think, too, it's advertised on the box somewhere that it requires the app, so yeah. I would say that if you if you read carefully beforehand, you would know. Um, it's not a really... A lot of people would like to read things. Though. Yeah, download the free Last Defense audio track required to play. Yeah. Required to play. So. so, but even if you don't have an iPhone, you could do a tablet, you could do an iPad, mm -hmm. you know, anything and, that yeah. you could download an app on. You'd yeah. be able mm -hmm. to even do a lot it, of so. TVs do apps yeah. and stuff yeah. now, so... Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a lot. Of, I That'd mean, be cool. With Windows 10 like has an apps thing. You could probably just run it through your computer. If you, I mean, yeah. So yeah, it's pretty options. accessible. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, for the modern time. Yeah. yeah. If you and don't this... have, if you still have a flip phone, then maybe you're not going to be playing. Yeah. You know, a game called mm -hmm. Last Defense. So, yeah. <laughs> this game. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that'll do it, though. I think that's. If there's anything else you guys want to say about it, that's a golden pawn. Yeah. Yeah. This is a golden pawn game. Golden Pawn status. Is this our first Golden Pawn half pint? I don't think so. No, uh, Titan Dice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, no. sorry about that. Titan Dice is a Golden Pawn game, so I'm going to mm -hmm. throw that link up there. Man, there's going to be a bunch of cards on this one. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so definitely 100% check mm -hmm. this game out. This is really fun. Yep. Um, really keeps the... the uh, Action. Yeah. Well, And it's something that you can do cooperatively. Mm -hmm. I, I love exactly. that. So it's... You something you could sit down with, right. you know, like somebody that isn't super into games and just kind of help them along. You could like whether it's an adult, another adult or a kid, you know, um, and just, yeah, have a good time either way. There's a lot of tension to it, too, which is fun. Yeah. So, yeah, check it out. Check it mm -hmm. out. But I think 
that'll do it for this episode. Um, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe. Um, I don't know, throw a rock at that subscribe button. <laughs> like a <laughs> big piece of rubble. Uh, <laughs> um, like, comment, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Hit the bell if you want to keep in, keep, uh, keep informed about what we're doing here on the channel. Uh, we upload about once a week, um, at least once a week so far. Um, been good about that. So <laughs> um, check out all our, all of our other content too. We've got a bunch of stuff going on. I think I looked up, I looked today and I think we have 57 videos up now. Very nice. Half science and, yeah. and, pay, play, and playthroughs and reviews and all that. Yeah. So we're getting up there in content wise. Um, so subscribe if you're watching and you haven't yet. Trying to hit 100 by October. <laughs> That'd be great. Yes. That'd be great. Because we want to hit so, Origins. Yes. Columbus. So. But we'll see you next time here on the Drunken Pond Half Pints. Hopefully at the table. Bye.